Have you ever noticed that when you start your plants in the fresh soil uh, with a lot of fertilizer and everything, uh, first couple of years they grow uh, a lot of fruits or vegetables or flowers and even you know the quality is quite good. But as the years pass by, the quantity reduces and the quality also reduces. The reason is that plants uh, need nutrients to grow and they suck up all those nutrients from the soil and the soil is depleted of those nutrients. So to amend that, you need to uh, uh, fertilize your soil. So let's talk about fertilizer today. Plants need a lot of nutrients, but the six major macronutrients are carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Now carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen, they get from air and water. For uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, you need to add fertilizer. So nitrogen helps in uh, generating good foliage. Phosphorus is good for the root growth and for the fruits and uh, flowers. And potassium is good for the general health of the plant. You know, they, it helps in fighting with the diseases or if there was sudden change in the temperature. So it helps uh, in fighting with that also. So apart from those, there are a few nutrients uh, which plants need in lesser quantity like magnesium and sulfur. And then there are uh, micronutrients like iron, copper and zinc which are required in very very little uh, quantities. So when we talk about fertilizers there are two types of fertilizers organic fertilizers and synthetic fertilizers. In organic fertilizers all these macro and micronutrients are found in uh, abundant quantities. So you don't need to do anything. If you fertilize your plant with these organic fertilizers, they'll have all the nutrients. Synthetic uh, fertilizers, you need to check, you know, what nutrients they have. Sometimes they don't have the micronutrients. Now, as far as plants are concerned, they don't care whether you are putting organic fertilizer or synthetic fertilizer because you know they are getting all the nutrients and that's what they need but there are subtle differences between the two now organic fertilizers they release the nutrients very slowly and synthetic fertilizers they release the nutrients very fast so when the nutrients are released slowly that means if you wanted to fertilize this plant or this tree immediately you wanted it to get the nutrients immediately you can't fertilize it with organic fertilizer because that is going to release nutrients slowly. In that case, you need to put some synthetic uh, fertilizer because it will release the nutrients quickly and the uh, tree will immediately get it. But the downside is that sometimes the intensity of the nutrients is so much that it can burn the plant. So uh, although it helps uh, in giving the nutrients to the trees very quickly, it can damage the plants. And the other difference is that organic uh, fertilizers, you know, they promote the microorganism activity in the soil. So over time, the soil structure becomes better. But synthetic fertilizers, they don't do any such thing. So, you know, there are subtle differences, but you know, how do you choose one or the other? So I would recommend in general use organic fertilizer and if you know you forgot and it's already time, it is spring and you have not fertilized your garden or the trees, then you want to add synthetic fertilizer. So in the long run use organic fertilizer but you know to supplement it use synthetic fertilizer. So now uh, let's look at some of the fertilizers. You know, how do you choose? There are so many fertilizers available in the market and how do you choose the right fertilizer for your plants? So I have two fertilizers here and I want to show you how I decide which one to use or which one to buy. So most of these fertilizers will have uh, a number like this, which has, you know, three numbers. This is nine, nine, six. So this means the first number is nitrogen. The second number is phosphorus. 
and the third number is potassium. So N, P, K. N for nitrogen, P for phosphorus and K for potassium. So this means that this um, packet has 9% nitrogen, 9% phosphorus and 6% potassium. And if you look at this one, so this one has 16, 16, 16. So all the three nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium are 16% in this bag. So depending on which plants you want to fertilize, you want to choose these numbers. So for example, as I said, that nitrogen is to generate good foliage. So for house plants, you know, inside your house or just, you know, uh, the plants that are that just have foliage for those you want to put a nitrogen rich fertilizer so it could be like here it could be 966 so 9% nitrogen 6% phosphorus and 6% potassium for bulbs because you want to grow the roots that is the bulb of the plant so you want phosphorus rich uh, fertilizer so the middle number should be higher. In this case, nitrogen is also high and phosphorus is also high, but at least the phosphorus should be high for bulbous plants or, you know, for anything that you, for which you want to uh, promote the root. Like when the trees uh, are just starting to grow in spring, you want to put phosphorus and nitrogen rich fertilizer. Once your vegetables are established, you want to uh, give them nitrogen rich fertilizer once they start to produce flowers you need to put phosphorus rich fertilizer so for example i have red amaryllis here which is starting to grow it is spring season so i will put phosphorus rich fertilizer here if you just look at all these shrubs i can put nitrogen rich fertilizer here for trees, like you know, here I have a fig tree, you want to put phosphorus rich fertilizer or even nitrogen because right now there are no leaves on this. So, first the leaves will grow and then the flowers. And if you look at my uh, strawberries, you know, they are starting to produce flowers in small strawberries. So, I want to put phosphorus rich fertilizer here. If you want to amend your soil after winters, you want to add some organic fertilizer or compost or composted wood chips because, you know, they will improve the texture of the soil also. So don't just put synthetic fertilizer, but use organic fertilizer there. And I always have, you know, a compost bin in which all the kitchen scrap goes and uh, it produces good compost within six months. If I had to fertilize my calla lilies, I would uh, fertilize it with phosphorus rich um, fertilizer because uh, they produce, they help in producing flowers and the bulbs become stronger. So in general, use organic fertilizer instead of synthetic fertilizer. Uh, use synthetic fertilizer to just to supplement the organic fertilizer. Uh, when choosing the fertilizer, look at NPK values. But if you're just starting, you're, you're a beginner in gardening, you want to just buy one uh, general purpose fertilizer, which is like 10, 10, 10, 10% 10, 10 nitrogen, 10% phosphorus and 10% potassium because, you know, that will, that you can use everywhere. And as you start to grow more fruits and vegetables and flowers as you get more comfortable with gardening you can buy different types of fertilizers and uh, nitrogen helps in the foliage growth phosphorus helps in the bulbs the roots uh, flowers and the fruits and uh, potassium helps in the general purpose of the tree or the plant so i hope this video was useful to you if you have any questions leave a comment and i'll try to answer as soon as possible if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share it with your friends and family and i'll see you next time happy gardening bye